big! Come on! Let's beg for mercy! We're pretty good at that, right? <laughs> They're gonna slaughter another innocent hybrid live on my show with my face! I won't allow that. Now it's time for Eden to meet Ramon. Rayman. He's a gaming icon I'm actually not too familiar with. When I was a little Guga baby, I played Rayman Origins and Legends, and I replayed both games recently. Legends is the one with the crazy song levels. <laughs> and Origins is the one with the hot fairy lady. She is so These games are pretty special to me, but I definitely wouldn't consider myself a Rayman fan, seeing as I haven't beaten any of the 3D Rayman games, nor have I even played the really old ones. The Rayman games are platformers set in a fantastical and whimsical world, which has a wide variety of environments that are often based on certain themes. These themes usually get a little wacky, like the Eraser Plains, a level that looks like it was made using the entirety of an arts and crafts store. And the protagonist of these games is, of course, Rayman, a magical limbless dude who is known for his courage and determination. However, Rayman recently made his animated television debut, and oh boy is it an interesting spin on the character. The show he's in is Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. This show was set in a dystopian 1992 where the United States of America becomes Eden, a place controlled by an evil dude corporation by the same name. Eden is home to humans and anthropomorphic animals known as hybrids. Rayman is one of these hybrids and because of this Rayman was ostracized and discriminated against. This was until Eden offered Rayman the opportunity of a lifetime. They essentially ask him to become the face of Eden, having him become a talk show host and TV personality. Rayman of course took this offer up and continued to be the smiling face of Eden, reading their scripts and brainwashing children using Rayman brand toys and his TV show. All for a better life where he's loved by millions, is rich, and gets to eat sushi off of a cow lady's ass. It's definitely weird to see this character from my childhood snorting coke, but yeah, Rayman isn't really a good guy in this show. He is well aware of a lot of Eden's evil ulterior motives, and yet has no problem being the face of it all. And he does Eden's bidding with a shining smile on his face until one fateful day, where Red, a member of the Niji-6, which is Captain Laserhawk's spin on the Power Rangers, calls Rayman alien scum, which leads to him losing it live on camera. I think we can show that on the You got that laser pigeon? You can sling all the filthy interdimensional alien scum our way, and the Nii G6 will always protect you. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? What? Interdimensional alien scum? I was a refugee who came from Dimension X, sir. Am I scum to you? That's not what he meant, <laughs> right? Right, Red? <sighs> I said what I said. <laughs> really? Then why don't you say it to my face with our cameras, you fucking red prick? After this, Rayman is essentially laid off from his job as a TV show host, and he does not take this well at all. Yelling at the board of directors who are the men and women in charge of Eden, effectively the rulers of the world. Rayman then goes on a self-destructive streak of drinking and drugs, which gets even worse when he finds out that Eden somehow replaced him with an identical figure. Snipe terrorist attacks in the labor district. Oh. But rest assured Wait, that this Eden is live? will retaliate with fire Who and fury. Who the fuck is this? Rayman's hatred for Eden grows and grows, and eventually he fights off the voice in his head telling him to beg for mercy and forgiveness. This is when Rayman adopts an alter ego, Ramon. Unlike Rayman, Ramon isn't afraid to get revenge on Eden. Ramon storms through Eden's headquarters and gets to the board of directors. He forces them to call off an execution that was going to happen on his show and then kills all of them. Ramon lays on their table looking up at the ceiling. God only knows what's going through his head during this moment. Rayman's story is a simple yet interesting one. To me, it represents the modern fear of AI taking over our jobs. Even though Rayman is a one-of-a-kind dude, Eden managed to easily replace him with an exact replica of himself, most likely using some sort of AI. I like Captain Laserhawk's portrayal of Rayman, but I'm definitely ready to go back to the silly mofo who sings Sex Bomb. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day.